The Wonder of the War Mage is a magic item for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. While holding this wand, you can ignore half cover when making a spell attack. And most important, you gain a bonus to spell attack rolls determined by the wand's rarity. In this video, we will customize the uncommon version of the object, which gives a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be notified when we publish other videos like this. As usual, the first roll for who created the object. And we got a 13, which means elemental water. Lustrous fish scales replace leather or cloth on this item. And metal portions are instead crafted from seashells and worked coral, as hard as any metal. Now we roll for an element of its history. And we got a 1, which means arcane. This item was created for an ancient order of spellcasters and bears the order symbol. Next, we roll for a minor property. And we got a 20, which means roll twice, re-rolling any additional 20s. Nice! So let's roll again. The first re-roll is 15, which means unbreakable. The item can be broken. Special means must be used to destroy it. Let's roll one more time. The second re-roll is 11, which means sentinel, which is a kind of creature that is an enemy of the item's creator. This item glows faintly when such creatures are within 120 feet of it. And finally, we roll for a quirk. And we got a 6, which means loud. The item makes a loud noise, such as a clang, a shout, or a resonating gong when used. Now that we have all the components, we can start mixing them together. Let's start by stretching the concept of water elemental creature and say that this was created by a water genasi. Using the fantasy name generator for elemental creatures, we can get a name for him. Let's take Reine as the name of the water genasi which crafted the object. Since the wand was created for an order of wizards, let's generate its name. As the object is strongly connected to water, I will generate a C name and use it for the order of wizards. This is what we got. The cursed water is appropriate. Their symbol would be three waves, and it would be carved on the wand. The wand was made of coral. Not any coral, of course, but the coral of the homeless bay where, according to the legend, an ancient dragon turtle has been sleeping for centuries. Water genasi don't have ancestral enemies, so I would rule that Sahuagins would play the role of the bad guys here. And for the sound to produce, a loud thunder would be right. Now we can craft a story. The Cursed Waters was an order of sea wizards. Their tower perched on sea cliffs. The depth of their knowledge was legendary as the vastness of their treasures. They exerted their power over a large portion of the Sea of Cursed Waters, and this led the order to clash with the Sahuagins of the Temisland Deep. The war between the two domains lasted a century. It was during this period that Rhein, one of the sea wizards, crafted the wand for one of his apprentices. The wand was named Unherring Thunder for its ability to spot the enemies when they were close, and because whenever it was used, a loud thunder would resonate from the wand. The Tower of the Cursed Waters now is just a ruin on a cliff, avoided by living creatures, afraid that the ghosts of the sea wizards could still haunt it. But maybe the lost treasures of the Cursed Water still wait there, the bold adventurers will try to claim them. Or maybe the treasures are now in the hand of the Sahuagins, in the depth of the oceans. Who knows? Let me know in the comments what you think happened to the tower. In the meantime, don't stop creating.